Here's everything you need to know about the Race of the Pines coming up November 9th, 2024. Hey there and welcome back to Golf Karting TV. My name is Matt with Converted Carts. Excited to have you back here today. And today we have something special. Uh, this is all about Race of the Pines. So if you want information, looking for information, have questions, uh, today is the day to find all that stuff out. I got a chance to talk with the uh, CEO of uh, the Veterans Golfers Association and uh, he was able to share all the details. And so we're gonna jump into that interview and talk through who in the world this organization is, tell us about the event, what's happening around it, when and where, and hopefully you can join us November 9th, 10th, and 11th. It's a full weekend of stuff. So let's jump in and talk with Josh. Well, thanks, Josh, for joining us today. I'm excited to kind of share a, a little bit about what your organization is all about, and then uh, specifically about the event that we have coming up, the Race with the Pines here. Uh, in just a few weeks. So why don't you start, give us a little bit of background, who you are, and, and tell us about the Veterans Golf Association. Uh, well, thanks, Matt. Uh, my name is Josh Payton. I'm the president and CEO of the Veteran Golfers Association. Uh, myself and Joe Cayley founded the organization uh, back in 2014 as a way for veterans to connect out on the golf course. Coming up on our, We're coming up on our 10-year anniversary now, and we've quickly equipped uh, eclipse over 28,000 members uh, nationwide. We host competitive golf tournaments for veterans and their family members. So last year we had over 1,500 golf tournaments um, around the United States, uh, over 70,000 rounds of golf for veterans and their families. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's, it's important to distinguish, you know, uh, most nonprofit organizations host golf tournaments for charitable type purposes. Uh, for fundraising uh, events. Um, and these are competitive, if you can imagine the PGA Tour, but for veterans, that's really what uh, what the VGA is all about. And uh, I'd say that, uh, you know, golf is kind of a vehicle to help veterans transition out of the military, uh, where, you know, you've had a tribe for, you know, 10, 15, 20 years. And uh, when you get out of the military, you no longer have that that tribe and that support around you. And I think that, you know, the VGA is, is a conduit to help, uh, veterans reconnect. Uh, and we're just doing it through the game of golf. You know, there's a, that's really cool. So what, what, um, what got you started? I'm assuming you're a veteran and, and, uh, appreciate your service and those who, uh, serve and serving now. Um, but tell me a little bit about, you know, the, the background and how you got started in doing this. Yeah, so uh, I served 20 years uh, in the Army. I was an Army infantry officer, uh, an Army ranger. Uh, I did three deployments to Iraq. Uh, in 2011, I was in a vehicle rollover incident where I, uh, in northern Iraq where I almost lost my right hand. And so I got medevaced to Walter Reed uh, in Washington, D.C., and uh, met a group of uh you know, recovering soldiers that were using golf as kind of a healing mechanism. Uh, and it was, it was just super powerful. Uh, I got an opportunity to, in 2013 to play for the uh, Wounded Warrior Ryder Cup team. Uh, and uh, we took 12 combat wounded vets from the United States. We went over to Royal Lytham St. Anne's in England uh, and played against 12 of their combat wounded vets. And it was, uh, uh, it was a tough match. We got our butts kicked pretty good. Um, and, uh, on our That's way awesome back, <laughs> yeah, well, on our way back, uh, to the, to the States, um, you know, Joe Cayley, who was a teammate of mine on that, on that, uh, team, um, you know, thought that there might be, uh, it, it was just an incredible experience. And we, we thought that there might be a, um, you know, other veterans out there that could, could have a similar type experience. And so, um, that's when we founded the VGA and, uh, you know, to date, uh, we've hosted nine, uh, national championships for veterans. Um, we've hosted at, uh, iconic venues, uh, such as Olympic club, uh, Baltusrol, Greenbrier, Doral, uh, next year is our 10th anniversary and we're hosting at Olympia fields in Chicago, which is the host side of the BMW championship. And, you know, really, um, it's a uh, uh, a lot of these places are bucket list items, and uh, you know, with uh, supporting 
uh, events like the Race of the Pines, we're able to raise funds uh, so that, uh, you know, the, the our national championship is free of cost uh, to the veterans that attend it, uh, for the 95 veterans that attend it. And so, um, you know, uh, the uh, the organization uh, is made up, the, the, the core of our organization is made up of over 300 uh, volunteer state and assistant state directors all across the country that go out to golf courses and uh, get discounts on greens fees. And, and they put those um, uh, those events onto our calendar that that all of our VGA members can come out and enjoy and compete, uh, you know, com- compete on. So uh, in a nutshell, that's that's really what we do. That's really cool. Very exciting. Um, and so you mentioned there a second ago, the, the race of the pines. So tell me. First, let's start with this year's event and let's go on and then maybe share a little bit of the of the history of that event um, and why golf karting and, and kind of how it all comes together. Yeah, well, this is a, a very interesting event. Um, you know, it took us five years to get insurance for it. Number one, like we we're, um, you know, Richard Petty uh, and the Petty Family Foundation um, uh, and, and, and the VGA team talked about doing this event a long time ago. And, um, you know, we um, we just couldn't find insurance for it. You know, yeah. A lot of the golf cart aficionados out there, they can get kind of wild and same thing with race cars and go karts. And so it kind of, you know, falls under this this um, uninsurable bucket, if you will. And uh, so uh, we were able to find an insurance company uh, to underwrite it uh, about four years ago. And, uh, and so this will be our fourth annual, uh, race of the pines. Uh, it's a golf cart race, um, that has a max, uh, uh, speed, if you will, of 40 miles an hour. Um, it's on a 200 foot drag on a, on a dirt drag strip. Uh, that's a makeshift drag strip, um, you know, with a start and finish line and, uh, you know, laser timing and, and all that all of that good stuff. Um, as far as the, um, actual classes that we have, we have the hobby class, which is uh, essentially a stock, your stock cart. Um, uh, and, but you can have it tuned, uh, or, or you can have a flash to your controller. You can have upgraded batteries, um, and, uh, you know, uh, bigger tires or, or a tire upgrade, uh, to fit into that class. Um, then we have what's called, uh, a super modified, uh class which is uh 650 amps or more uh multiple controllers uh and 82 or or greater volts um and then everything else um falls into the modified class so if you don't fall into one of those two categories you fall into uh, the modified um category and really it's just a lot of fun matt um you know it's uh um you know the golf carts aren't going that fast um but uh you know, it, especially around the Pinehurst community uh, here in North Carolina, it, we have a, a, a large uh, golf karting uh, community. Uh, sure. And uh, so, you know, if you're just kind of a recreational uh, golf cart kind of enthusiast or you just like to get from point A to point B on a golf cart, you know, we encourage you to come out and check out the Race of the Pines. Um, and then we also have like a golf cart pageant. So like if you've got a pretty cool – golf cart uh that you want to show off or you know uh it is veterans day so if you you want to put some patriotic stuff on your golf cart and come out and uh show your support for our country uh that's that's what it's all about and then in the periphery we've got uh some of the best barbecue in the state of north carolina going on uh we typically we have about 18 to 20 barbecue teams that come in and compete for a barbecue contest on the southern barbecue network um and then we, we've got some live music going on, some of the best uh, live music in the area. This year, we've got Pandora's Box. So for all you Aerosmith fans out there, this is going to be an Aerosmith tribute band. Uh, we'll have some parachutes jumping in around 4 o'clock on uh, November the 9th. And, um, you know, it should be just a fun day uh, of, uh, of saluting our military uh, men and women uh, that serve our country. So... Um, That's awesome. Yeah. Give me, Josh, if you could give me a little bit of the logistics around 
what's happening when i know that you don't have to go into all the details but i know it's over a course of a few days the racing stuff is is on a particular day during a certain time but tell me kind of if i wanted to come and i i don't know anything about anything give me a little bit of the breakdown around you know what's involved when it's happening yeah stuff. so um the so we're calling it salute uh salute our veterans uh weekend uh presented by the vga um and Really, it starts on that Saturday, November the 9th. Um, the uh, Race of the Pines is from 3 p.m. until uh, 10 p.m. at night. Um, and it kind of encompasses the things that we just talked about, a golf cart race, some barbecue, uh, and some live music. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, what's going to be cool about it this year, uh, as opposed to other years, is that when we do the golf cart races, um, the final races, which will start at 7 p.m. after all the qualifying heats, uh, it'll be under the lights. So that'll be nice. that'll be kind of a cool little uh, uh, a, a cool little experience this year. Uh, and then cool. we've added we've added two events this year. Um, one is uh, Poker for Patriots. That's going to be on Sunday night uh, at the Fair Barn. Uh, of Pinehurst, which uh, the harness track is where um, where we will host the race. But cat, right on that in that same area is a um, uh, a venue. Uh, we call it the Fair Barn. It's it's right next to the harness track. Um, really nice kind of um, uh, uh, formal venue where we're going to host uh, poker for Patriots. Uh, we've got. Uh, some uh, some superstar poker um, masters that are going to come in and teach a couple of tr classes. Um, but, you know, it's a three hundred dollar entry point um, and and uh, you get an opportunity uh, to uh, win a, a ten thousand dollar seat at the World Series of Poker, which not a lot of people, um, you know, would, would really have that opportunity. Yeah, um, that's very cool. So. Uh, um, so with that, we've got some dinner, uh, we got a steak dinner that's in, that's included with that, um, and some live music there as well. Uh, this is more of a formal event. So for those players, for those people that are participating, a, a jacket and a polo is, is required, uh, for it. Uh, but other than that, it's going to be a, be a good time. And then on veterans day on Monday, we have a, a par three for Patriots event going on, uh, over at Longleaf in Pinehurst. Um, it's a six, six hole course where, you know, you're really shooting for hole in ones and the low score of the day, both male and female will do low gross, uh, trophies for them. Uh, we'll have music out there. We'll have, um, some barbecue by, uh, Bobby Brinson. Um, and, uh, we'll have some, some free beverages from our sponsors at Anheuser-Busch and, uh, and Proximo Spirits. So, uh, really, it's a, you know, a, a trifecta of, of different events. You can participate in all of them. You can participate in one of them. Uh, we just, uh, at the end of the day, um, we're, we're, we're making a concerted effort to um, raise awareness about the VGA and what we're doing in our community and nationwide. Uh, we're making uh, an intentional uh, salute to our men and women uh, that serve. Uh, and have served, uh, and you know it's a fundraiser for our organization and also for the Jimmy V Foundation and what they're doing for veterans um, uh, that that have cancer. So okay. uh, this is a you know first time that we've done all three events. Um, we've had a okay. lot of, a lot of success with uh, the Race of the Pines in the last three years, and so we're kind of expanding on that, and um, you know and and, and hopefully uh, it'll resonate with the community. Yeah. And so the, you know, obviously you can come out for the race and then you can stick around for the weekend. There's, there's multiple things happening. So if I'm in the race, for example, but wanted to hang out for the weekend, and I'm not going to play poker, but I wanted to, it's like, there's other things kind of just hang out type situations. And then obviously on the, for the golf day, can I just come and watch? Like tell, what are some of the yeah the, the I, people that I, aren't doing all the things maybe? Yeah, I think you know, well, if you've never been to Pinehurst, uh, North Carolina, they call it the home of golf for a reason. Uh, we just hosted the uh, the U.S. Open and Bryson DeChambeau, uh, you know, hit that incredible sand shot uh, to beat Rory McIlroy a couple of months ago. 
Um, you know, if you can't find something fun to do uh, in this area, then um, you're probably not, not a fun, you're not a fun person. So, <laughs> right. Uh, right. But it probably starts with some golf. So, you, you know, um, you know, even for the ladies, the there's spas and, um, you know, other things that you can do uh, around the around the community. And, um, you know, the one thing that we can't control is 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 weather and sure. uh but right now the I mean, you can see what's right right behind me we're a couple of weeks away from this thing and so fingers crossed we'll have some good weather and uh and, and have some good times too awesome well that's exciting i, I think it's going to be a, a blast i was not able to make it uh last year when i was kind of involved in this stuff but excited to get there for the first time myself but then also i know a ton of people uh in the industry and and it's it's already the, the talk of the town and so for those who don't know Tell them where to go to find out more information, uh, website. I know you got a Facebook page, but what's the best way to, to find out and, and sign up, get involved, that kind of stuff? Yeah, so I, I would say, um, first and foremost, uh, if you can't make it up here, but you're a veteran or the family member of a veteran that loves to golf, um, I would, you know, check us out at vgagolf.org, uh, uh, you know, and, and join uh, our VGA family. Uh, there's definitely going to be a, uh, VGA golf tournament near you for you to come out and participate and meet some of our members. Uh, for those that can, can make it up to Pinehurst, uh, I would say you probably want to book pretty soon cause we don't, we're not a large, uh, city. Uh, so, you know, you, you want to make sure that you can, uh, look into some lodging options in, in Pinehurst or in the surrounding areas of Aberdeen. Uh, or Southern Pines, um, and get you, uh, go ahead and secure a, uh, a hotel room or an Airbnb and come up and make a weekend out of it. Uh, you might be surprised uh, at, uh, you know, uh, how amazing this small town is. I call it Narnia. Uh, a lot of people don't know about it, uh, but um, it's a pretty, pretty incredible uh, little town. Um, and so if you want to participate in the race of the pines and our salute to veterans weekend, I would go to race of the race of the uh, and you can purchase tickets and we've got VIP tables available. We've got all sorts of things uh, that, uh, that, that are, that are family oriented that I think you guys will have a good time with. Cool. Well, thanks, Josh. Really appreciate um, again, your service and the fact that you're putting this on and then definitely for coming on uh, with me today, just to share a little bit more, We'll get this out as much as we can. And uh, again, appreciate everything you're doing. Yeah, we appreciate all the support and uh, look forward to seeing you uh, at the harness track for some golf cart racing. Very good. We'll see you then. Well, I'm excited to be down in North Carolina in a couple weeks for the race of the Pines. I hope you guys are going to be there as well. If you can make it, I put all the information in the notes of the video and we hope to see you there. That'd be awesome. Thanks again for watching today. Hope it was beneficial and we'll see you again here next Wednesday at noon for a new episode.